वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस ऑन मल्टी स्टेज कंप्रेसर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज मल्टी स्टेज कंप्रेसर इन अ सिंगल स्टेज कंप्रेसर वी आर यूजिंग वन सिलेंडर सो इट इज कॉल्ड सिंगल स्टेज कंप्रेसर हियर वी आर यूजिंग मोर देन वन सिलेंडर सो इट इज कॉल्ड मल्टी स्टेज कंप्रेसर हियर यू कैन सी दैट हियर वी आर यूजिंग थ्री सिलेंडर लो प्रेशर सिलेंडर इंटरमीडिएट प्रेशर सिलेंडर एंड हाई प्रेशर सिलेंडर and all cylinders are connected with intercooler okay intercooler is nothing else it is a one type of heat exchanger okay in this intercooler there is a constant pressure cooling theoretically but practically some pressure drop will be there first of all what is the need of multi stage compressor okay in a single stage compressor whenever we increase the compression ratio so at that time by default temperature is also increases and whenever the temperature will be increase so at that time we are facing the problem related with the lubrication system so at that time the lubrication system it will become complex the another disadvantage of single stage compression the volumetric efficiency is decreases with increase in compression ratio because we know that whenever we increase the compression ratio so at that time temperature of the air it will be increases and we know that density it is a function of temperature whenever we increase the temperature so at that time density of the air it will be decreases so at that time the same compressor it will handle more quantity of air so at that time volumetric efficiency of the compressor it will be decreases volumetric efficiency means actual volume of air actual volume of air divided by swept volume so volumetric efficiency means it is the ratio of actual volume of air delivered to the compressor or suck into the cylinder divided by swept volume it is called volumetric efficiency so whenever we are using a single stage compressor at that time we are facing the problem related with the lubrication at high temperature the volumetric efficiency of the uh, compressor it will be decreases the another disadvantage whenever the temperature will be increase so at that time thermal stress in the material is also increases we know that thermal stress it will depend on l alpha t it is a function of temperature okay so whenever the temperature it will be increase so at that time the thermal stress is in the material is also increases so at that time we need to select the material okay uh, which strength is uh, more okay so it can uh, resist the different uh, stresses are generated in the material so finally the material cost it will be increases so these all are the disadvantages okay of a single stage compression with increasing compression ratio so we can resolve all the problems by using multi stage compressor okay so first of all uh, we will discuss the uh, schematic diagram then after uh, we will uh, uh, represent the all the processes on pv diagram okay so first of all the air it will be enter into the low pressure cylinder it's working is same same like a single acting reciprocating compressor okay we have already discussed in my previous lecture in single stage reciprocating compressor whenever the piston will travel from tdc to bdc so at that time the negative pressure it will be generated into the cylinder and it will suck the air from the atmosphere because we know that energy is always flow from high grade to low grade and in another stroke whenever the piston will travel from bdc to tdc at that time this air it will be compressed because we know that there is a compressible nature and this air is delivered to the uh, delivery tank same here in a low pressure cylinder the air from atmosphere it will enter into the cylinder okay then after it will be compressed in a low pressure cylinder at point 2 okay then after this uh, compressor it will pass through the intercooler okay we have already discussed intercooler means it is a one type of heat exchanger okay here our problem is with increase in pressure by default temperature is also increases so this intercooler it will reject the heat to the surrounding or atmosphere okay so here theoretically pressure remain constant and temperature drop will be there okay so it this process is represented by 2 to 2 days then after again it will compress in the intermediate pressure cylinder then after it will uh, compress air it will enter into the intercooler to again it will reject the heat okay at constant pressure then after again it will be compressed in high pressure cylinder and then after finally it is delivered to the delivery tank this compressor it is delivered to the delivery tank 
okay in my previous lecture we have already discussed there are lots of application of the compressed air okay it is used in uh, automobile industry okay in pneumatic braking system and pneumatic suspension system it is also used in mining industry okay there are lots of application we have already discussed if you want to uh, clear your fundamental related with the various terminology of compressor and working principle of reciprocating air compressor and application then you can watch these videos in my playlist okay now we will discuss all the processes on pv diagram okay why uh, we draw the pv diagram because uh, we know that area under the curve in pv diagram it is the graphical representation of the work done in my okay. previous lecture okay i have already discussed there are three definition of work done the first one force into displacement the second one area under the curve in pv diagram okay it is the graphical representation of the work done and third one work done equal to p dv or we can say p delta v okay it is the mathematical definition of the work done okay so we know that compressor it is a work input device okay pump compressor okay these all are the work input device and ic engine gas turbine steam turbine these all are the output device so in a pv diagram okay more area in case of a compressor means the more amount of work required to run this compressor and less area it will represent the small amount of work is required or we can say less amount of work is required to run the compressor so here uh, we will represent all the processes on pv diagram first one one to two process okay it will occur in low pressure cylinder so this is low pressure cylinder it is a pv diagram on y axis we are considering pressure and on x axis we are considering volume so one to two process okay it is the adiabatic compression and it will follow pv raised to gamma equal to constant it is a adiabatic compression okay then two to two dash okay this is a constant pressure heat rejection okay here you can see that this is a intercooler it is a one type of heat exchanger and it will reject the heat to the surrounding okay and the temperature of the air it will be decreases then after again it will be compressing intermediate pressure cylinder so 2 to 2 days okay it is a constant pressure heat rejection okay here the temperature drop will be there and the pressure remain constant theoretically but practically some amount of pressure it will be decreases then 2 to 3 process okay it will occur in intermediate pressure cylinder okay then after again 3 to 3 days it is a constant pressure here you can see that this is a constant pressure line okay so 3 to 3 days it is the constant pressure cooling in intercooler 2 okay then again it will be compressed in high pressure cylinder and then after uh, it is delivered to the delivery tank okay and it will be stored in the delivery tank from where we can use it in multiple application okay so this is the working principle of multi stage compressor and uh, it is the representation of uh, all processes on pv diagram so here you can see that okay whenever we are not using intercooler okay 1 2 4 double dash okay it is the process whenever we are not using the intercooler at that time here you can see that the more amount of work or we can say more work input is required to run the compressor but whenever we are using intercooler at that time this is the saving in work okay this is in saving in your work say this is the advantages of the multi stage compressor so first advantage volumetric efficiency of the compressor it will be increases second advantage uh, the problem related with the lubrication we can resolve it by multi stage compressor third problem we can use a lightweight material for the cylinder because in each stage okay the pressure ratio is uh, less as compared to the single stage compressor or we can say the pressure difference is less in each stage so uh, we can also avoid the leakage problem okay so these all are the advantages of the multi stage compressor so thank you friends for watching this video i hope this content it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also press bell icon for more notification thank you friends